What's this? Old manifest. Lots of treasure. Thief. Zilch. <laughs> Empty. Fancy clothes. What kind of uniform. Uh, you were a guard here, weren't you? Nice job. Found something. Oh, I'm amazed this letter's still intact. Is this what was on the shelves? Nathan, over here. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you got? The battalion money. Says Avery Sigil on it. <laughs> Must have melted down with gold. Minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah. Dan, inside. What do you think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, there's Avery, two. Founders of Libertalia, all marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant, thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. I know where they moved it. What? Where? Oh, it's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertalia. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. And look, right there. New Devon. But Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> what do you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Now, how do we get up there? I got an 
idea. Can you give me a hand with this? Okay. Okay, ready? Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. <laughs> Sound surprised. Just take the compliment. <laughs> All right. Now the place is looking classy. Nice one, Tarzan. Oh, sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Spoke too soon. Like I said. <clears throat> Nathan! You seeing this tower? Sure am. Sam? Yeah. All right, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. Just about there. <laughs> he sure is excited. Need a lift? I love a lift. Come on, ready? Ready. All right. I found something. Okay, stand back. Here you just go. Oh. 
Oh. Quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, where do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, of sorts. Come on. So, how long do you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. RPG! Oh, shit! Ah! Go! Move! Jesus! Whoa! Come on, guys! Stay out! Oh, blowing shit up, don't they? Take it! Down here! Coming! <sighs> Let's try this again. Mango, Mango! What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Oh. Are you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a trick. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk about it. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I just, uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. 
Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> I'm tired of this island. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. I know you don't get shot. How does she do that? We just talk about this. I don't think so. Fast, but you're not that fast. Hey, forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa! Everybody, just, just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate. Samuel. Put your guns down, all of you. No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. Oh, so be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! <laughs> Start! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. You okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <laughs> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on, now you're a businessman. Let's just, just work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. I'll be here with you have in mind. Oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just. I... You want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live? Yeah. That and a small cut. The gout shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied. You lied to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive. And somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden. And your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh. Uh, yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. 
Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no. No. Listen, Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my life for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix, and I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But, <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it, or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself, keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. You're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen! Oh, oh my God, Nate. Hey, Nate. There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? Stop for finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. I'm pretty sure the front door will be locked. <sighs> done. Well, it was worth a try. Let's look around back, huh? Hey, Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh, yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. Come on. Come on, Nathan.
brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? <sighs> Nothing in here. Attic. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binder. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. <laughs> Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No, it's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is. Was this your house? Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. <sighs> I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. <gasps> uh, we we'll budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Hmm. Sam. This is real. What is this place? Well, let's go find out. <laughs> hmm. And hey, you recognize that one? Uh, I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. It's Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah, husband and wife. Buried together. It's kind of dark. And like an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, do me a favor. When I die, bury me in one of these. Sure. Can I mummify you and put your organs in a jar, too? On second thought, maybe not. Here's another one. <sighs> nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer-dryer combo. <laughs> ah, I was the funny one. Always was. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. give to get an invite like this. I just read this one. Oh yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well... Here we go... India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Round and round she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Yeah, it might be a tad difficult to get in. I always wanted to see the Red Square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Hail Caesar. <sighs> it's hot in there. Fertility totems. Aren't you a little young to be looking at that stuff? Aren't you a little old to be making that joke? Eh, never so old. Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. Prince of Arabia. Jousting armor. Looks French. When do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. Samurai. Huh? You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um, let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me, uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? 
Must be something, right? Damn it. Journals about everything in the world, but nothing from Moth. It's a big house. Don't give up yet. Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart? No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anywhere in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. <sighs> hmm, it's locked. Hey, the air vent, up there. Oh yeah, that could get us into the room below it. Not us, you. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right, let's see what you got then. Smile, all right. <sighs> Don't lose it. Check this out. There. I'll see you on the other side. Okay. 
It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. Lock from this side too. And look around. Is there a key nearby? <sighs> Coding. Lots of painkillers. Anything? Didn't see any journals. All right, well, we still got the other locked door, so come on. Wow. Uh, journals galore. Well, let's see what we find. something <laughs> this is it Is a paradise? Whoa, Henry Avery, Gunsway Heist. Oh, what do you got there? I've never seen this one. It's definitely Mom's handwriting. Put up your hands. Slowly. Hey, hey, hey. There's no need for that. What is he holding? Hey, hey, you keep your gun on me. Give me my journal. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. I'm sorry, Nathan. What now? Now, we wait uh, for the police. Yeah, you don't want to have to deal with that headache. Stop. I mean, the hassle of ruining two kids' lives, that's... I really don't want to shoot you. Come on, lady, it was no harm, no foul, all right? We all must face the consequences for our actions. At least let him go. I brought him down here so he could see our mom's stuff. That's it. He had nothing to do with this. What? I'm telling you that this is all on me. No. Your mother's stuff. Yeah, that, that journal. It was our mom's. 
You're Cassandra Morgan's voice. Uh. Hi. My God. <coughs> I could have shot you. Yeah, you still might. So, uh, do you mind? You knew her mom? She worked for me. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm a collector of sorts. <laughs> That's sort of an understatement. So, mom was like your translator? Your mother was the most brilliant historian I have ever met. We could have accomplished so much together. But then her illness and... I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Happened a long time ago. Of all her discoveries, this would have been her crowning achievement. Sic Parvis Magna. Greatness from small beginnings. Sir Francis Drake's motto. Yeah, Latin and historical figures. <laughs> Those were our dinner conversations. We were uh, a weird family. Did she ever tell you her theories regarding Sir Francis Drake and his heirs? Uh, Sir Francis Drake didn't have any heirs. Yeah. That's what history tells us. But your mother and I believed otherwise. Learning that old pirate's secrets is just one more adventure I have to let go. I guess there's a lot I have to let go. Forgive me. Ramblings of an old woman. Here. It is as much yours as it is mine. Who knows? Perhaps one day you'll be able to finish what she started. Uh, yeah, so, uh, we're off the hook, right? I'll handle the police. You found your way in. I trust you can see yourself out. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, Here. <sighs> Sorry about the mess. <laughs> Come on, Nathan. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, holy shit. Hey. 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 Stan? Sam? Oh, the police. You all right? Wait, we have to do something. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. Can't just leave her here. It's nothing we can do for her. All right, we have to run. If the cops find us here, then this. Ma'am? Nathan! We gotta go. Right now.
The front gate looks clear. Front gate. They're on the ground Got somewhere. It. Go slow. Okay. Nathan, you all right? You there, don't move! Run for it! This way! We can lose him! Freeze, goddammit! Down on the ground! Hands on your head! Stop, goddammit! Pack this way! Go, go, go! Gotcha! I'd say we're clear, but we catch our breath for a second. wasn't our fault back there. I mean, that lady, she... She was, um... Sick. I mean, it's okay to feel bad. But there was nothing we could do about it. So what are we gonna do now? I can't go back to the orphanage. You can't go back to your job. And we don't. Sure. No, I'm serious. We get as far away from this place as we possibly can. Yeah? And how long till the cops find us? Well, I think they'll be looking for Nathan and Samuel Morgan. Yeah, that's us. What if it wasn't? Nathan, back at that mansion, you knew just as much about that stuff as that poor old lady. Here. I always felt that we were destined to for something great. But until tonight, I didn't know what that meant. But this, Mom's unfinished work, this is our chance to restart our lives with brand new identities. What are you talking about? Well, I know some guys. Pretty good at forging papers, too. Now, as for our new name, Mom believed that Sir Francis Drake had heirs. Who's to say he didn't? You're serious, aren't you? Nathan, we were meant for this. And I promise you and me together, we're gonna go far. So what do you say? Nathan Drake? changed after that. You know, we became explorers. Adventure. Ow. Okay, just hold still. You know, for a while it felt like you know, if we weren't taking turns going to jail, it was because we were in jail together. And you know, after I lost him, I, or after I thought I lost him, You didn't want to bring him back up again. 
something like that. Well, that's it. Now you know everything. With you, I doubt that that's everything. But... It's a lot. I'd love to know what you're thinking. I'm thinking that you're lucky that I found you when I did. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't lose a limb or anything. It would have been a royal pain getting you out of here. How did you, uh, find me anyway? Oh, you know, easy. Just follow the sound of gunfire. <laughs> no, I mean, how did you get here? Oh, of course. <laughs> Come in, Sully. Hey, darling. How's he doing? Oh, you know, he's banged up, but he's alive. Par for the course. Now we just need to rescue the other Drake. I'll let Nate tell you. Hey, pal. Glad you could join us. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it. So what happened to Sam? Rafe's got him. Oh, shit. You know where they are? Uh, yeah. They're headed to the northern side of the island. See if you can find a place to set down over there. Once we get Sam, we're gonna need to get out of here pretty quick. Copy that. Hey, hey what about the treasure? Forget it. We don't need it. But Alcazar. No, there is no Alcazar. It's all bullshit. Wait, you mean the dip, the the escape? Yeah, Sam made it all up. What an asshole, right? Look, I'll fill you in on everything when I see you. Okay? Yeah, I can't wait. Look, you two be safe down there. You know us. JJ. Thanks. Sure? No, I mean... Thanks for saving me. Again. I almost didn't this time. Right. Come on. I got us a ride. <laughs> 